Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar uh, looking at uh, getting uh, high resolution images of uh, liquid samples, be it liquids, flurries, anything that you wouldn't want to put um, within a vacuum. So thank you all for having joined this webinar. Um, I appreciate some people will be watching a recorded version of this webinar, so whenever you choose to watch it, I hope that you find it useful. So without any without further ado, um, I will um, rapidly just give a brief introduction of who we are and then hand over to uh, our guest speakers. So SciMed is a distributor of scientific equipment. Uh, we've been operating for nearly 45 years and uh, we have been gradually expanding the range of products we do specifically in the world of electron microscopy. Uh, we offer a whole array of characterization tools um, big for elemental analysis, molecular characterization, or generally speaking, materials characterizations in many shapes and forms. Uh, I'm not going to say any more than that. Uh, our website describes in a lot of detail all the things we do. The purpose of this webinar, of course, is to focus specifically on electron microscopy and particularly in the subject of um, being able to uh, put samples which specifically do not like to uh, be measured under vacuum and therefore um, allow users to measure these kind of samples directly in the form that they're in rather than precondition them uh, with some various forms of freeze drying or, or, or general drying before they get put in the electron microscope. The Flow of Utech Aquarius uh, accessory allows users to put the samples as they are and allow them to be imaged in their wet form, uh, to put it crudely. So the way this webinar is going to run, uh, as soon as I finish my introduction, I'm going to hand over to Cindy Lin, who is from Flow View Tech. Uh, and then after that, we will hand over further to um, my uh, colleague, uh, David Bellis, who is our application scientist here at SciMed for electron microscopy, uh, and who will, will um, talk over a video showing some basic aspects of the FlowView Tech Aquarius uh, preparation tool. So FlowView Tech is a company based in Taiwan uh, that is focused entirely on the development of these kind of accessories. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Cindy, uh, who will uh, give you an overview of uh, the uh, solutions that they offer for, for the in this area and also some uh, application examples. So Cindy, over to you. You are, you are currently on mute. mute. Um, um, Hello, can you hear me well? Yes. Off, we can hear you now. OK, OK. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Cindy from BCT Development Department. Uh, from all of you, and it's our pleasure to have this opportunity to introduce you who we are and what we have and how, how we support industry to accelerate innovation of our solutions. Uh, Flowview Tech was spin off from eTree, the biggest uh, indicative national R&D center in Taiwan, and founded by National Development Fund from Executive Yuan and invest by Japan Sumitomo uh, Corporation Group. And we are focusing on fluid AI and related integration technologies like automation, software, and inspection. We also have an open mind to partnership with other solutions to integrate into a turnkey solution to our end customer. During the development of the company operation, we successfully accumulate many customers and partners worldwide, uh, including many key players in chemical manufacturer or high-tech industries such as semiconductor, PCD, and uh, display industry. And our solutions can be used in some domains such as bio and pharma industry, like to observe microorganisms or bacteria or medicine particle performance study or hide manufacturing to check or monitor particles in liquid materials like CMP slurries, etching liquid, or even DI water, or to battery industry to inspect particle contribution in electro nano materials. So our particle uh, monitor solution can also adapt in wastewater and uh, support a better uh, environment for sludge management. 
And today I'm going to introduce how we do in situ SCM and OM observations in liquid status with high resolution images by using Aquaria starter kit and electrochemistry holder. First of all, um, starter kit. Starter kit is a product able to um, self-operate with very light package. As you may know, um, usually when we are observing our sample under SCM, we need to dry out the sample so the sample won't damage the SEM uh, under the vacuum um, environment. And uh, Flowview successfully developed our uh, product, Aquarius Starter Kit, to allow customer can observe their liquid sample under SEM by dropping their sample in the holder and seal it with a very simple process. And the, sem the image will demonstrate a real status of the particle. And uh, we know that each customer has their pre uh, preference brand of SEM. Our starter kit can fit almost 99% of uh, current SEM, including major brands like Hitachi, Tescan, Thermo Fisher, and JEOL. Except high uh, generate generality of the usage, there are some features of the starter kit. For example, the operation process is really quick and simple. And we can um, also have different version, like uh, different spec of the substrate thickness to match customer's inspection process, such as high resolution or um, clear message or um, large window to have a better view. And our particle limitation down to seven nanometer. And we have customers from National R&D Center studying advanced material by using this kit uh, in semiconductor batteries and uh, chemical manufacturing industry. You can see the image we have filmed before, like we do battery materials like silver, aluminum, and also copper past. And in semiconductor field, we did many slurries like CMP slurry, mental plating, and also um, packaging glue and so on. And our product can also be used in biologic and pharma industry, like to analyze black mold and also pheromone. You can see the image performance under SEM and measure the particle size and morphology. You can also see the particle dispersion and also uh, agglomeration uh, through the image and related information we detect from SEM. You can also have edX to uh, analysis particle compositions or use software to support you get more data on the uh, sample. Regarding the sample, we offer three different type of sam uh, software. One is Flowview Lite version, advanced version, and multi-layer version. And we use this to support users to analyze the image with, with simple, fast, and um, automated operation features. Based on the information we got from this software, uh, we can get the particle information like dispersion, uh, size analysis for, re for recipe checking or to check agglomerations for defect prediction and alert, and also to check the quality. You can also have professional software to support for complex image processing, create a recipe for repeatable analysis or reduce data error and uh, improve the accuracy and repeat, repeat, repeatability of the data. You can also uh, to get the report of particle analysis with this feature of the data uh, of the sample. And um, you can also have the um, multi-layer uh, software to measure the thickness of each layer of what you got from the original image. And our kit has been used in CMP slurries that particle information is crucial to the slurry uh, manufacturers. That if the particle size distribution was as expected as they thought, or there are uh, agglomerized particles in the liquid state, this might damage to the wafer and also uh, cause defect directly to in uh, semiconductor manufacturing process. So customer uh, didn't have the chance to view the nanoparticles in the liquid state status before, but now they are actually can evaluate the situation for product quality optimizations or res uh, recipe adjustment uh, through our kit. Our kit is also support MLCC manufacturing industry by proving real uh, 
by providing real image and particle information in liquid material to improve material qualities because seeing the distribution of the particle is uh, in ceramic and mantle is crucial to them. Our other application is in conductive past. The agglomeration and dispersion of the mantle particle in liquid status are key to qualified product making. So by having this diverse uh, industry usage we have just present, uh, you can know our kit has its strengths like um, uh, it's uh, pollution proof in SEM chamber and it fit almost 99% of SEM in the market and only needs small sampling uh, size and fast assembling in one time. And we also provide some option um, tools for sample treatment uh, during the preparation by customer request, such as surface treatment or sample dispersion. So that will be a very uh, brief introduction of Flowview Aquarius Study Kit. And next, I would like to introduce, uh, uh, I would like to have a very quick and simple introduction of electro uh, chemistry holders. The reason why we develop, develop uh, electrochemistry holder is that while we accumulate more and more experiences of liquid material inspections, customer from battery materials starting, uh, start starting to ask if we can have not only static um, observation, but also to have uh, electro or temperature control. So they can see not only in situ image, but also with the real time reactions between material layer and layers. So reactions such as plating and uh, exfoliations, redox or uh, displamations, reactions, or even dendrite growth, we can realize the above state by um, having horizontal uh, electro holders. You can do in charging and discharging expansion or extractions in coin cell holders. So horizontal holders uh, can be used on SEM and OM and Raman for observation. You can easily uh, assemble in 30, sec in 30 seconds and the holder is complete isolated from the advanced mirror and vacuum. With the simple operation procedures, um, you can observe the liquid part, uh, you can observe the liquid battery materials morphology and behaviors and get a high resolution of the dry growth. You may refer the uh, structure of the holder that we made. Users can easily place anode and cathode materials on the current characters, which you may have coating materials on that and redox reactions from all electro can be observed th through the window. And also check a short clips on the dendrite growing that we have, uh, we have done before both SEM and LAM. And we have another holder specialized for coin cell batteries in ON and Roman uh, observations. Uh, you can do many electro uh, chemical tests with the holders by charging and discharging. We will uh, like to share some clips um, of the charging and discharging experiment, such as uh, expansion and uh, concentration of the bat uh, battery materials. and uh, electro uh, versus mental replacement and so on. So this is just to have a very quick look about four views, all kind of electrochemistry holders. We have the abilities to specialize the uh, customized holders by giving electro flow or temperature control to support very high end research, uh, research um, especially in material analysis or quality analysis in liquid. So we are also looking forward to have more and more uh, interactions with you together through our partners, Sime UK, and also uh, supporting technology advancement and um, motivation, the innovation. So this would be a very, this will be the end of my presentation and hope you have some takeaway and feel free to let us know if you have any um, questions to dive deep. So thank you uh, for watching and listen today. Uh, Cindy, for that oh, presentation. Presentation. Um, Sorry.
Well, thank you very much for the presentation, Cindy. Um, what I propose we do is that we keep uh, any questions uh, for the end of the presentation um, and so that we can then uh, see uh, hand over to David Bellis, uh, who is going to um, basically give a bit of a uh, demonstration of the, the, the preparation of a cell, uh, particularly using the Aquarius system. So, uh, David, um, over to you. Cindy, if you don't mind unsharing your screen, um, and I will then put David in the spotlight and hand over. So, David, over to you. Um, so, just to actually, before I hand over, just to um, explain that David is works for SIMED and is a UK uh, electron microscopy application specialist. So, would support users with the FlowView Tech or any of the other uh, tools we've got for electron microscopy, such as INB milling or even um, our benchtop electron microscopes. So, David, over to you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, as Paul said, I'm David Bellis. I'm the applications specialist here at SIMED. Um, unfortunately, I'm not downstairs in the lab today because we've got a little bit of uh, remodeling work on. So I'm just up here in the uh, in our meeting room. So if what I'm going to do first is just show you a little video that we shot uh, yesterday in the lab, just running through some of how the Aquarius, how to use the practice, the Aquarius system in practice. So if you just give me a, a little moment while I share my screen. And that's shared. And now I'll just uh, show you this little video. So this is the basic kit which you get with the, um, with the Aquarius system. And I'm going to run through. The basic uh, preparation of this kit. There we go, it's running now, it just froze slightly. So the first step is to take one of the uh, substrate spacers. And this is placed on the sample holder of the Aquarius using a pair of tweezers. Obviously, as within all SEM analysis, you want to work in a fairly clean environment. That is just stuck on just a little bit with a tiny bit of glue, and so sometimes it needs a little wiggling off. So there you are. The purpose of that is to really to control the thickness of your liquid sample when it comes in in two different sizes. For bigger samples, you can also just use it without. Um, so the sample I'm going to demonstrate analyzing is a cerium oxide suspension. Cerium oxide is quite a good emitter as it's heavy, so it gives us some nice BSEs. So this is a nice, easy sample to start with when you first use in the system. So basically you drop about 10 microliters onto the top of there. You want an excess so when you so you don't have really have any air bubbles in, into the system. So then we take the chip and this is the part which contains the very thin silicon nitride sample. And so first of all, you just pop that on. Sort of just finger tight and then use the uh, custom tool. Of provided by Flowtech to tighten it. And there we go, that's about all that's required for your liquid sample or your wet sample um to be mounted so then depending on what kind of uh sem stage system you got up here i've just affixed it to a stub using a little bit of carbon tape and now here we're popping it into our little benchtop microscope that we have downstairs tidying it up and then start pumping down to vacuum and so that's it so as soon as depending on your system, you have a sort of a, a three minute pump down or so, you're ready to start making your measurements. So it's a very efficient system. So this would be an example of an image of the cerium oxide that we got using our system, showing both the dual view, BSEs on the left and SE on the right. And so you can see even with um, a, uh, a benchtop system which doesn't have quite the capability 
of a full free standardized, we can still get get very nice images. So that is the the end of my little part of the presentation. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. And if we could um, hand back over to Paul. Thank you very much, David. That's great. So that really forms um, the uh, effectively the completion of what we were hoping to present as a way of introduction of uh, the Flow View Tech, Flow View Tech uh, kit. Um, so thank you very much to Cindy uh, from Flow View Tech to, for her presentation and David um, for your sort of li a little bit more practical presentation. What I should have said at the beginning, but I'll say right now, um, if anybody who's uh, watching now has got any questions, uh, you're welcome to type them up on the chat that's available uh, within Teams or by all means unmute yourself or put your hand up and we'll be quite happy to feel your question. Um, so if you want to type it in the chat or just say it out loud, um, you're welcome to. Um, now, I have received uh, one question um, as a private message, um, and that question was about whether there is uh, any applications for observing gold nanoparticles. So I'm going to put these questions to Cindy and David. Um, what is the um, experience of measuring gold nanoparticles in suspension? David, do you want to answer in the first place? Yes, and I can if you want. Um, Yeah, there's quite a lot of interest in gold nanoparticles, um, perhaps in biological systems such as cells, which are quite wet, as there's quite a lot of research of using them for drug delivery or for imaging sort of uh, cancer cells and, and things like that. So I'm aware of some work um, done out in the US on transmission um, electron microscopy. So that's a little different to our system because you have two silicon nitride windows and then it, the, it's passed through. So the idea is you can kind of see where um, gold, gold nanoparticles are in, are in a cell or in a, or in a liquid system. Um, so yeah, I think the um, I think the Fovu Tech system would be good for that because one of the things was is that this was an older sort of silicon nitride system, so they were about twice as thick the windows. And so, with the thinner windows, we should be also be able to do this by by SEM. Okay, thank you, David. A any further comments from uh, your side, Cindy? Yeah, because it should work very well, actually, because like with the cerium. Um, applications with heavy elements work quite well with this system because they're much stronger and easier to image in there. Um, obviously, Cindy presented some very nice examples of, of cells because also if you want to see the gold nanoparticles, you also want to see the um, the biological structures and then having you know really quite powerful microscopes helps do in the lighter elements. Mm -hmm. Cindy? Yes, um, uh, actually I have our RD teams uh, around with me, so um, I think we can also share a little bit more about um, the next question we have saw on the chat room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, yes, there's that... another question about the thickness of samples. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so how thick sample can be? Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Philip. I'm the RD team a member in the Global Tech. Uh, I would like to answer the question about the, how thick the sample can be. Uh, uh, basically, we have two kind of the substrate, which are called a, a spacer. Then we have two spec. Uh, one is a five nanometer, five hundred nanometer uh, space. Another one will be two micrometer space. Therefore, the particle uh, smaller than these uh, two sides is uh, uh, capable of put into the uh, our kit uh, product. So you said between 500 uh, micron and, um, sorry, can you repeat? So the, the, the thickness range was 500 micron and? 
no, uh, 500 nanometer. And another, another one will be two, uh, two micrometer. So, okay, so from 500 nanometers to two micron thick. Yes. Yeah, okay. I can show, if you look at here, so I'm not sure if, you, if that's yeah, actually yeah. Visible, see that, visible, yeah. but that is the, the 200 one, uh, two microns, sorry, and the uh, 500 microns. Now, if there's something um, even a bit thicker, you can actually leave that spacer out of the system and uh, put in perhaps even that uh, sort of thicker or, or more viscous one. And so that, that can get you a little more thickness, for example. Um, one thing I tried um, was putting sort of little samples of leaf into the sample. And that so worked, you, did it? So, yeah. Um, yes, yes, we, we managed to get to get some image off of that, although there is was some um, sort of air gaps. So I think we're, we're going to try and repeat it in some kind of like salt buffer or something. OK, OK, thank you. Right, we've now got another question about biological application um, to image live cells uh, affixed to solid porous scaffolds um, immersed in the media. Um, what would be the uh, impression from the team at Flowview Tech about this kind of material? What yeah, kind of uh, we have, yes, we have such kind of the biological application. Uh, basically, we have tested like a pheromone and something like a um, like mold. Yeah, and so this kind of the biological application is uh, capable for our study kit. So. I think uh, basically the uh, limitation will be, I think the size of your uh, biological particles. So within uh, in uh, 500 nanometer or maybe 200, uh, two micrometer, this size can be uh, uh, very easily to see the uh, shape or maybe something uh, in situ images. OK, OK, so as long as it fits in the cell, um, that sample should work. So it's, it's, it's more the spatial uh, compatibility that's the question. Um, hopefully that answers uh, your question, Willow. Um, now we're coming back to the uh, sample size. So if you just want to confirm exact one more time, we talked about 500 nanometers up to two micron with maybe a little bit more if we take those spaces out. So that is the size. So it is not 500 micrometers. I, 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 and if I said it wrong, I do apologize. It was a 500 nanometer cell and a two micron cell. Of course, the, we have an open offer to anybody who would like to try uh, this um, Aquarius accessory or the, the, the other solutions. We are more than happy, um, or what should I say, David is more than happy to come with a kit to your microscope, to your lab, to put your samples in and basically spend the day um, trying um, your material and look for, so you can get a real uh, hands-on opportunity to check whether the, the, the cell can give you the images you're looking for. So whilst here we're talking very theoretically, uh, we're more than happy to engage in a conversation that would lead to a visit um with, with the kid to try it out so that is an, an an open offer to anybody who's got some interest on his call um of course simon operates specifically specifically within the uk and ireland if you've joined a call from another country we would have to look at the uh, options available um wherever you are located yeah i've got the the kit right here um <laughs> ready to bring down to you see it's very convenient to the uh packed in a suitcase. And yeah. We need a sample real quick. That's a letter from Richard. OK. And that's a huge sample. Mm. Yeah, we just received another okay. questions of, from the chat room. Yeah, so it's going back to the uh, biological biological scaffolds. Um, and we talk, well, the question is about a 10 by 10 by 3 millimeter. So we're now talking the, at the millimeter scale for the sample. Uh, not so much a viewing window, but the, the chamber size to put such a sample. That, that Obviously, at face value, that is much larger um, 
than um, the, the, the dimensions we we, we had uh, we had discussed. Um, do you do you see within our range of accessories the capability of at least loading a cell big enough to put such a large sample over at Plo View Tech? Well, um, okay. um, I would say that uh, particles are very diverse, and um, yeah, I can uh, do more explanation about this uh, question. Basically, our holder can afford uh, about a 600 micrometer, this kind of scale. Therefore, in this uh, large, bigger um, uh, biological application, I would like to suggest you to use like a optical uh, microscope to uh, visualize like the shape or maybe some uh, detail information because uh, this kind of a uh, Mm, particle, maybe it's a little bit too large for our starter kit. Okay, okay. Would there be okay, any so possibility of a sort of custom kit, or would it be that that sort of structurally having a window, a silicon nitride window, would be quite large in that? Um, I would say that uh, particles can be very diverse. So uh, if you want to try this kind of large uh, sample, uh, maybe we need to know further about what's the point you want to inspect. Is that the point would be like uh, particle morphologies or um, particle size or whatever? What's the index of the most important things you need to uh, you need to know uh, for these inspections? So therefore, we can suggest what kind of version of our uh, starter kit you might can you can use, or uh, if this is a limitation about our kit. Okay. Well, I guess what we can certainly do is following this webinar. Uh, engage in slightly more detailed one-to-one -one conversations um, and, and ascertain um, whether we can find a way to uh, obtain the both load the sample within the right dimensions but also um, provide the right kind of imaging information. Um, so um, the, 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 uh, another question on the size so I'm uh, Cindy if you can see the question uh, about going up to 200 micrometers, um, what would be your feeling on that front? Yeah, so I think this question I can answer that. Uh, basically, our uh, our space in the starter kit will be 600 micrometer. Therefore, uh, if your sample such as a 200 micrometer is uh, uh, is okay to put in our starter kit, but the most uh, mostly uh, the most important thing is that. Uh, uh, the sample more close to our membrane, silicon nitride membrane, the image uh, resolution will be the best. Therefore, uh, I think the most important thing is that we need to put our sample uh, uh, as closely as much as much about, uh, possible to do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, well. Again, I, th I think I think for for for, for both sets of questions. Um, we probably need to have a slightly more detailed look at the sample, the, the what we're trying to get out of the image and et cetera. Um, I think there's possibly an opportunity to look at each case individually. So um, I think we, we, we will leave those uh, topics of discussions there. And I, I think we can look at um, how we would be able to, you know, pl pl plan a route to uh, completely understand the whole detail of the requirements. And then if we think um, with reasonable confidence that this could work, then as I say, the best thing is to give it a try on a real sample, put it in a microscope and see what, image, what images we get. Um, so uh, and, and unless there's any more questions, um, I'm going to um, call this uh, webinar to an end. But of course, that does not have to be the end of the conversation. Um, we hope that we can carry on these conversations with those who have engaged so far. And if any anybody else who will watch this webinar does have any questions, do feel free um, to contact us. Uh, the details uh, will come uh, at the end of this webinar on a recorded version. Otherwise, uh, please just go via our website or drop us a line directly. But I'd like to thank you all uh, for attending uh, this webinar. And of course, a special thanks to the team at Flowview Tech to have arranged this for us. 
and David as well uh, for having prepared that video for us. So once again, thank you very much and wish everybody a, a great day. Thank you.